All right, guys, we're finally back. I was gone for the entire week due to a storm that knocked out our power. We still don't have power, but the internet came back and I got a generator. So yay for the power of super expensive gas. Anyway, we're back. This is a new crucible we're starting off. I actually lost the last crucible. I won two, lost one. Uh, the other person just outperformed me. Not gonna make any excuses for sure. I wish I had that footage for you because it was interesting defense, but it was lost in all the chaos. That's how it goes. Uh, also, you're about to see right now is the new opener uh, animation that I'm going to try and include in all my videos. Let me know what you think about it because uh, I will definitely shape it to match what you guys think because I do make these videos for you and it's just something that's been lacking in the videos I've been wanting to do and I finally got around to it. So let me know in the comment section and uh, I'll see you later. Bye. All right, we're back. Uh, we had a brief intermission from the storm, but we're back now. Uh, I lost the recordings on the two other Crucible fights I had because the storm basically fried everything in my computer, unfortunately. Uh, but we got a new Crucible, so let's have some fun. We'll get in here. We're starting with a Dormammu New Warriors yo-yo team. Uh, this is in the, in the time dampening, so my Eternals aren't going to rewind anything, but they're fast enough that they're going to get the damage out. At least that's my hope here. He forced me to put Doc Ock by having the yo-yo in there. And this is where we're at. Uh, I expect this to go south, but I expect this to be enough that I can go in and clean it up afterwards. At the very least, I just want to either kill Dormammu or pull all his stuff, including his charges, and go from there. So we start by getting this. Good flip. Not a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and spread this offense down plus immunity. Or do we just go go for broke on this Dormammu? I think I just want to make sure I kill the Dormammu. I'm, I'm accepting a two-shot on this. It is what it is. Um, it's going to be what it's going to be. So let's just get the kill. We'll use the special here. We'll try and alt kill somebody on the next turn. If we reach that turn. Ooh, death pool getting kills makes them not revive. Welcome to Strike Glitch. Where nothing makes sense. Let's get a slow on this death pool. Please get rid of the blind. Yeah, he got rid of the blind. Had a go, boy. That's my boy. All right, we're gonna one shot this easily enough, actually. See, but she did res that time. Why didn't the dagger res? So strange. I've had that happen with. Uh, with Deathpool in like war and stuff too, and then Kestrel Ultimate is instant death. Alright, well, one shot. Let's go. Alright, uh, this should be very quick and easy. We're going with X Factor, Zemo, and T'Challa. Crunchy Cheetahs, welcome to the Dorky Den. Uh, we're going to crush this, this Dark Hunters team. Should be very simple. You got to remember, uh, lots of focus and damage is lost from X Factor in this matchup outside of War, but they're still relatively strong enough to get through it. Uh, first thing I want to do is I just want to kill Ghost Rider because Ghost Rider kind of stops you from um, getting good efficiency points. So we just get him right out of the way. We're not even going to AOE. We'll just straight take him out. Now we can bring them all together. T'Challa, we can get him to kill somebody or we can blind somebody. We'll just kill Morbius here. Uh, we don't want to use uh, defense up, so we'll just basic here. We'll basic again to kill her. 
special. And as you see, this is going very nicely. Ooh, T'Challa takes big damage from that, though. Mind controls. Mind controls are deadly in this mode. That's going to be minus two efficiency points, but I think I could live with that. And Zemo will finish it off. Bam. There you go. Yeah, first time I've seen the new Mordo skin, too. Mordo skin, too, as in as well. Very cool. All right, guys, you know how I'm, I feel about A-Force. I'm not too keen on them. Let's see how they fare in the Crucible with Surfer against the Young Avengers. In my head, this is going to work well. We'll see. It's a very big punch down, too. Like, this is like a 300k punch down. I should be able to get an ability block on Squirrel Girl. I should be able to do insane damage to Kate. I don't think we get Disrupt outside of War. No, we don't. That's fine. We'll get one ability block onto Squirrel Girl. That's great. She's so weak, you would expect this to kill her. You would expect this to kill her, but I don't know. Hitting her with this is going to give Squirrel Girl a bunch of speed. That is my biggest concern right now, is just giving her too much speed. Maybe I'd be better off trying to kill Squirrel Girl here. Well, Surfer's going to go before her second attack. How big is Echo? Oh, see you later, Echo. <laughs> see ya! <laughs> Yo, Echo is too valuable to this team to have her that low, guys. She's way too strong. Those, a bit, those dodges are huge, 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 huge to this team. All right, now Jessica Jones is going to come and cleanse all these blinds. This is, you know what? This actually feels better than the in-war matchup because Jessica Jones goes later and can cleanse all these blinds. That's huge in this matchup. Absolutely gigantic. All right, there's the ultimate from Kate. I really want to kill this Squirrel Girl. The two turns of ability block is nice, but it's going to wear off. Let's give her defense down. Oh, let's kill her. There you go. Killing Kate Lass is super weird. Because she's putting blind on us the entire time. Every time somebody dies, she puts blind on us. But in my head, it makes sense because I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to go through her dodges. I'd rather get the kills here first. Uh, give her blind, or at least pull the dodge there. Kate's a beast of a character. There we go. Not the greatest efficiency points, but it worked. Um, that was a giant punch down, though. I don't think that'd be very effective. Yeah, on a punch across, I don't think that'd be very effective. All right, uh, we continue. We're going to go ahead and throw Young Avengers at this. I'm probably going to take somebody out for Doom here. Actually, no, I'm not. Because I put a T4 into America Chavez uh, special, and I want to see how hard it hits. All right, let's start by getting not. Oh, oh, there's no Shang-Chi here. Oh. Well, then. This is disappointing. This is very disappointing. Oh, this is also room five. My America Chavez is never gonna get turned. I don't know what I was thinking here. This is a uh, this is a great play by me. This is a flex play. Really, really stupid flex play. All right, well, that worked. Don't do drugs, kids, and get some more sleep so you don't do stuff like that. All 
All right, room one. Uh, we got all the four difficulty rooms out of the way. Let's go ahead and do uh, Weapon X versus Web Warriors, and we'll finish up with Infinity Watch versus some sort of astonishing team. Uh, these are sure wins, or they should be. The only question is how many dodges is going to happen to ruin my efficiency points. Um, okay, this is something that I would strongly suggest against. Don't have Ghost Spider and Spider-Man uh, adjacent to each other or within one square of non-stealth miles from each other because they're both the people that put slows out. I don't really care what these guys do. I just want to kill these two. That's my, my biggest goal here. Is it unavoidable? No, it just can't be blocked. Let's see. Okay, that works. So look at all these dodges. Not surprised, very annoyed. <sighs> very, very annoyed right now. I wish just once our AI worked like their AI does. This can't be dodged, so let's take a Scarlet Spider out of the way. I, I believe this is unavoidable when there's a bleed, right? This attack cannot miss when there's a bleed, so she's dead. We are losing efficiency points from eating so much damage, though. All hail the web warriors. Kings of causing you efficiency points. And the dodge on that, too. <laughs> and the dodge. Can we get more? From the spider punk? Yeah, there we go. Spider punk. He's known for all his dodging, guys. Oh, oh, there you go. We got another one. Hey, he's finally dead. Oh, dodging teams are awful, both in our hands and in the AI hands. Just please stop making them, Scopely. Please. All right, we're going to finish this video off with a very easy uh, Infinity Watch versus Astonishing X-Men match. Um, this is basically going to be a full auto match, but I, I guess we won't because we want to make sure we do it efficiently. But. Let's get these dodges up. Uh, I'm going to base it because I don't want to push too many people at once. I don't want to just feed beast speed like crazy. Get the ability block on him. Oh, he's probably going to die here to this bleed. Oh, no, he lived because of his healer iso. Healer iso kicking in. No, he's not even healer iso. His passive heal kicked in before the heal. Hmm. Hmm. Not a fan. Let's take him out. Rewind the Jubilee, so she doesn't rewind us. Now one of my favorite things about Gamora's kit is her ultimate cannot be dodged. Let's see if it's enough to kill this ghost. Oh, it is. So it's enough to kill everybody. Bang! Counters up, I guess. There you go. So that'll be the Crucible. We'll uh, check in in a few hours and see how my opponent did. Until then, later. All right, so it looks like my opponent did do their attacks. Let's go ahead and look at uh, how they fared. Obviously, I won. They looks like they didn't clear a room. So let's check it out. I had to use Eternals on my... Uh, Axeman slash New Warrior team. Cool. Weapon X with no Sabretooth or Omega Red. That'd be my Web Warriors. I mean, that's fair. It's just weird. Infinity Watch versus Dark Hunters. Cool. And here's the Dark Hold team. So, he tried an Emma Sinister team mixed with these three. Didn't fare out. Then he tried again with Eternals. So Eternals don't work on this map or on this stage because 
The second Icarus spawns, he gets speed up and it, it murders him. Like he gets all of his debuffs, all of his buffs taken off. He gets slow in trauma. And then yeah, he's toast. Weird, weird picks there. And then he actually almost one shot. He almost one shot Dormhold with Darkhold and Omega Red instead of Scarlet Witch. That's kind of crazy. That's really crazy, especially because it was a fresh team. He combat canceled twice. Maybe something to look into there. That doesn't make any sense, though. That makes very little sense. Secret Avengers with Red Guardian and Night Nurse beat my Shadowlands and Shang-Chi. How did that work? Red Guardian should have instantly died. The fact that Night Nurse is dead is very awkward as well. Because my whole team goes first and just murders Red Guardian. Shang-Chi and... It's a coin flip. Maybe he won that coin flip, and that's why it worked out. Hmm. Very interesting there. And then for my uncanny team, he did... He kind of lost his mind on that one. He went to uh, Kestrel Fury, Surfer, Zemo, and Hela. So that, that's a sure. It's an easy win for him. But with those fails on the, uh, the Dermal team, I'm going to win. And we're going to move on, and hopefully... We're going to face either Sea King or West Mantooth for N7. All these guys are former troopers. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Anyway, we'll see you later. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. It's our first video back after losing power for a week. And I think you can tell I'm a little under the weather. I think uh, I w my body was going and going and going and going. I didn't want to give up because I needed to keep my house in order. And now that it's all good, my body gave out. But it's okay. It, it looks like it's only going to be a couple days because I already feel better than last night. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. I hope you guys are doing great. Have a good weekend. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.